Hey, I've got some steak and I've got foot too. Just drinking it. A Brumble one, 10.1%, but it in the last year is not so bad. Can taste the Brumble's a little bit, just a little bit, not too bad. As Justin would say, our oh, 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 is is old sound for a glass of wine. Anyway, what we're getting ready for is I wanted to do the video a bit earlier, but I didn't have a chance of too many people running around. So I've already made a start. I'm making some rhubarb beer. Don't know if it'll work, but giving it a go. So up to now, I've steeped, I've got my Hong Kong book come full list, 150, 150 grams of fried flake wheat malt, 200 grams of marisotta, and 500 grams of dry medium spray malt, and 500 grams of brown sugar which I've substituted with normal normal blender that's really there. What I've got is bubbling away there. I've put I've just put in my first edition of Fox, which was 30 grams at the beginning of the boil. I've just done a 30 minute boil, then I've got another 15 grams to go in at 15 minutes, and I've got my, my proto fox I was put in. Last 10 minutes. So, what I've had to do is bring, I'll read it off to you. I've brought six litres of water, six litres of water up to 65 degrees, steep the grains for 45 minutes, strained it, add the sugar, add the spray malt. Now I'm bringing back to the boil for a 30 metre boil, and I've just started adding the hops. But I've got the entire one here. I've got 15 minutes time ready for the next one. So, and once I've done that, I've just boiled the rhubarb for five minutes to kill off any germs. But on the recipe, he used. Fuck me. Bit silly, but anyway. Did a 15 minute timer. But I didn't need 15 minutes, did I? Did a 15 second timer. 15 minutes, start again. 15 minute timer. Better do 15 seconds, bloody hell, stupid bloody thing. Sorry about that. But then, they use 1.5 kilos of rhubarb, which is over three pound. I wasn't so sure if that was fresh rhubarb. So what I've had to do is, I put five pound of rhubarb in, boiled it, because the rhubarb that I had was frozen, and obviously if I boil it, it's going to break up straight away and lose some of that juice that's inside. So I've tried making up another, I've added another two pounds to it to see if, if it, I don't know how to do that, see if that'll work out any better. So I've got, I've got, I've got five pounds of rhubarb pulled away. And then, I'm going to drain it out shortly. Put it in the fermenter, add the, the tinners, the copper's late malt extract, then cool it down and add some water. Come on, yeah, look at that. Looks like I've been people from Kills. I'll just have a look full one, eh? So, um, I'm hoping it, it works out. So, that's, so everything else is going to plant, it's just the real bad that I was a bit concerned with is the half frozen man, and I'll say, and Tony, I don't know much sure if he used a fresh rhubarb. Also, also you boil it to get rid of the any germs that are on it. But I'm not too sure if my, when, my, when I got when I fetched the rhubarb home, I chopped it all up, washed it all, and I stuck it in the freezer. So I think that would have killed the germs. So I maybe could have just defrosted it and whacked it in the fermenter and added the water onto it and the rest of the ingredients. But we'll see how this one goes. And not but try. Like I say, um, I've got another addition to do in 15 minutes. Then add it all to the fermenter, leave it for four to five days, rack it off the rhubarb, then I dry hop it with another 25 grams of fuggles. And that should be it. Then add the yeast. Well, zero four. 
Uh, right then, chaps. Get back to this and I'll come back to it at the end. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, yeah, by the way, quarter to 11 at night. I knew I should have started this head on. Been out tonight. I've been on cooks. The missus has been drinking all night. She's upstairs pissed out of red. So I thought, right, I'll start. Make a, make, make a bloody brew. So I'm just having the one, I might have a beer. I'm just having the one wine. So I'm, sorry, I'm on call, I'm on call early in the morning, so not too bad. So, right, I've waffled on. I'm trying to get this big ass sorted out. And so it'll be patch in the morning when there'll be glasses up on it. Bloody hell, that's how they are. Right, waffled on, catch you there. Right, back to the first one. Drinking a cup was bitter, that pimped up one. Excuse me, I wanted it to taste, it to taste like a caramel chocolate flavour. Nah, doesn't at all. It's alright, quite, still quite bittering. But, well carbonated for a bloody bitter. So the head didn't go down. Quite tight head. I did have a, what, fucking tw 26 finger head on the top. Never mind. Anyway, right, this real bad beer. I've got down to temperature better than I did before on the last one. And it was... I'm, I'm out about... The pack, on the pack, on the yeast pack, it was um, 20... Between 22, um, 22 and 25 degrees. I've went out to 26 degrees, so... Now I'm hoping that does all right. Gonna take a <coughs> hydrometer reading of the, of the water. And there it is there. I don't think this is gonna be very good because it's fucking all the rhubarb in the bottom. I think it's gonna think it's gonna sit on it. But we will see. This is I've had to buy another hydrometer. This is probably the sixth one I've smashed the thing since I've started doing it. I think I'm going to have to start buying a bloody rubber one. Anyway, the reading on this is... one off four zero. But I don't know, that, that could be the way all the rubber on the bottom. Holding it up. Yeah, one zero four zero. Oh well. I couldn't I couldn't do now about the robot because it's all, all mashed up, it's all solidified inside of it. You can see it in there. So try try it once more. There goes something. One zero or four zero, I think that's about the best I'm going to get. I think. I'm going to have to wash now. Okay, give it a quick smell test and try and shift it up with snow. I'm so you, you can taste it, taste, smell of malt, malt, green. Anyway, it's in for a penny for a pound, it's it. So it tastes like it. All I can see to taste is the malt extract, that the cup was malt extract and the dried malt extract, dried malt, and maybe a hint, a rhubarb, at the very back. Oh, well. let's see what it goes next time. For that moment, I'll see if I keep tasting it. That's all I want to get is a Real bad in the bottom. So, I wrapped it off into a if I'm in there. Just up to about 23 litres. Put the yeast in. I know I'm a degrees out, but 
and see how that goes. I couldn't leave it open any longer. See, it's about half 11 now, like, so what I'll do is take that upstairs and do a little video in the morning to see if it's bubbling away. And if it is, bob your uncle for in. I'll just have to wait to see if it bub bubbles away. Just open it is. Like I said, later on, just come send with the rhubarb. I'll say I've done the frozen rhubarb, which obviously breaks down quite easily. Obviously, when I'm making wines. So I don't, I don't know what it's going to be like when I make, make the beer. Or well, whether I should have not boiled it and just shoved it in. But say, I used £5. But I think I might do. I'm hoping I've got like three or four pound of strawberries in the freezer. I'm sure that well, probably now I'm sure I washed them, so I might do a set of same brew, not boil the strawberries. Well, I might boil them five minutes and shove them in a brew as well. Do the, do the exactly the same brew that I've just done. Instead of having the rhubarb, add the strawberries. See how that goes. Uh, I thought this is the first brew I've done in, in, in a few weeks. I bottled the, the Belgian pale layer a couple of weeks ago, and that's about it. But that was done a few, quite a few weeks before that. But now it all's done. I'm not even, I ain't even put a bit of um, fermenter on the new shelves upstairs. So, right, I waffle on, and hopefully I'll catch you in the morning and see if it's bubbling away. So, fingers crossed, it bubbles away. I'll see, see what this is like. Anyway, anyway, my ass still is big. So, anyway, catch you later then. Right, guys. Right then. The morning after night before for that real bad beer I made. It is all back upstairs now. I left it upstairs last night in the kitchen. It was a bit cooler. Top temperature, but also I don't know what temperature it is now because I put the only fermentation vessel up. But I'll bloody stick on thermometer. But if you look, Bubbling away real good. And you get a little bit of crust on there. You see all the rhubarb inside, but I don't think you can see it in yourself, right? So I don't, I don't want to up on the top anyway. Anyway, get this uploaded, just so you can see. Then I'll let you know once it's finished. Catch you soon.